Yo, what up, guys? Brief Five here. I'm currently logged into the Noob2 Pro, and this is day 172. We're inching closer to that 180 day mark when we eventually or finally get Seal the Drake, the best legendary for a beginner player like our account right now in Rage Shadow Legends that we can obtain for free if you've been playing up to this number of days. So, I currently have books kind of saved up for her and we'll be keeping up to, up to five star chickens also for her during the next champion training so we'll get her ready to 60 immediately we'll obtain her so that's one we'll be counting down to because she's totally worth a countdown so what has been new to prove been up to well because of the fusion that is currently going on the vermin lord fusion we are on saturday right now and it's gonna coincide with oh, i mean friday night and we are currently farming um dungeon divers and ice and uh, spider at the same time well you might be doing it but the noob pro is done with it yes i did say yesterday's video that we're gonna be farming it all night and complete it instantly as it opens so if i head over to the events right here you see dungeon divers is complete well we have some extra points to obtain this shards right here and 13 hours right there to go so if you've not done it head over and complete and get this rare champion risk a copy of him at least i'll be doing some spider to get this last ancient shard right there that we can obtain and keep the way we got this number of points in the um tournament of course is because of there is a super raid going on for spider tournament and we've also completed that spider tournament that same night yes on both accounts i've completed all that is going on in terms of well, not Classic Arena. Classic Arena is kind of slow on the Noob to Pro because we are finding difficult teams to beat or we are, not, we are not seeing easy teams to beat a lot. Especially because it's a weekend, everybody has their strong defenses on again. So Classic Arena is coming along slowly. But Spider is done even with a full day ahead to go. We have completed Spider and we did go extra mile just to get that four star chicken because we still needed to farm Dungeon Divers points, right? That's why I went up to that um, four star chicken else normally i do stop at the rare champion but this time we went extra mile it's up to the fact that we're even getting third position right now which is kind of nice and we'll get one more extra ancient shard which is cool hopefully nobody tries to beat us in the next one day or so and try to get us knocked out of this ancient shard well i'll still be farming the spider like i said to add a little bit more points because i need the other ancient shard from the dungeon divers that's the events that is currently going on classic arena and that's what the noob to, is, noob to pro is up to only classic arena is what we have to complete and then we'll wait on sunday when the dragon tournament starts we will not go crazy on it we will not start using saved up energy on it we'll wait until it's on monday i mean on sunday we'll not do it on monday that's when we'll start doing the dragon because then the dungeon divers will start and we can let it run all night on a monday night and let us get that dungeon divers in three days or so of course once champion training starts we'll need to you know start using our rest of at, and champions we have right now all the champions we've been saving all the rare champions all the risk camps this is this champion trainer we use to level them well you already know that what's coming up in with, with that we already know i just wanted to break it down again to tell you what the noob pro is up to and i wanted to keep this one short now for the main event it's a 2x void right now in racial elegance and everybody is going crazy about it because they're expecting to pull that 10x champion that is currently being hyped as one of the best nukas or single target nukas i guess you can have in raid because he's part of this 10x yes and somebody in our discord did pull him <laughs> our discord is very very lucky somebody in the discord did pull this champion from their void shard and i think where is the picture there it is somebody in discord did pull him from a 10 pool right there and that's awesome um what's his name again Jojid the breaker an awesome champion that i talked about so that's what everybody's trying to get but the new to pro was we are are we lucky enough to obtain even an epic from these 2x void pools well you expected to see a shard pool earlier in the day from me but the video was so short so short that i didn't think it was worth posting on its own alone that's why i had to wait until the evening to post it along with um this noob to pro update so that's it our void chat i've already been pulled now i'm going to show you a video of that shard pool and um, that i recorded earlier in the morning but it was not long enough to post as a single video so i'll stitch it to this one and you can now watch the shard pool video that the noob to pro did and find out if we are lucky or not 
So eight void shards. We have no options but to do single pulls right there. Let's see what we get. This is probably gonna be a short one, but I'm hoping for epic game changing epic champions at least i don't want all eight rares at least that would be kind of sad for the noob to pro to pull that so what's the next one ilfrit is the first one remember 2x events like this is the best time for you to pull your shots come on i'm looking for an epic champion i keep getting steadfast marshall is also food champion not even great to use for faction wars i do have already one cold art maybe two cold arts would be nice <laughs> I don't know. I already have Royal Guard taking the place of the second cohort, so maybe I don't even need that. Now, this is a nice pool. This is a nice pool for a beginner account. For my level of account, I don't think Bellower will even be useful for um, campaign farming or even dungeon content because I have better champions right there. But this is a nice pool right there. At least for faction wars, you can keep those waves locked the entire time so they keep using their A1. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this champion has an AoE on all his abilities or skills. He's one that I've reviewed a long time ago for campaign farming, but I'm yet to re redo that video and show him in other content. Maybe it's something I'll look forward to because I have him at 60 on my main account and with good campaign artifacts. So that's Bellower. If you're pulling him in raid, he goes into your campaign and farms it really fast. If you're yet to beat Dragon 20, he keeps those waves in check or any other waves anywhere in the game. Which is um with his skills. Also good in a stun set. Don't tell me we're gonna get all rares. That would be a sad one. <laughs> Pantera, that's trash champion, which is uh, probably food for us. And come on. This is this is not looking nice. Is this 2x actually on? Eight shards and no epic champion. Because the noob to pro is not, we don't even know where we are in terms of our void. Let me quickly check our shard tracker to see how close we are to Messi. Our ancient shard Messi is, is far off. But the last time we did pull a void uh, epic champion. So that's why I think we're not getting anything yet until we begin to get close to that 10 void shard mark or close to the 20. Damn. If you don't know, a Rest Helper keeps, helps you keep track of your shots that you're pulling so you don't have to guess and find out or how close you are to Messi. Seducer, good for those early, early stages of the faction wars, places this block um, debuff buff on your allies and increase defense along with it for two turns. So, unfortunately, this is on the fourth turn cooldown. That's why it's not viable for clan boss, I guess. But a lot of some people do use him in those early stages of the clan boss because this increased defense on all allies is useful and this block debuff buff is also useful a good champion to use at least for faction wars i don't want to use him for clan boss i don't recommend using for clan boss because of how squishy he will be to die so fast in brutal difficulties and even nightmare difficulties he doesn't work there well he also has an ally protection for your team which is kind of strange that this champion has this one but it only available when tempress is on the same team all right <laughs> our two more void shots to go this is give me at least one epic one epic nope another steadfast marshal see unfortunately the noob pro will not be getting anything this time around and the last shard that's it this noob to pro can i say it's cost <laughs> i don't know what to say about it i don't know if it's a cost or anything but this noob to pro is kind of unlucky with it with the way we go about shards and we are lucky to pull an epic out of the shards we pulled last time for this fusion that is currently going on but this time around no luck i wish you guys better luck than the noob to pro got that's why i delayed i thought i would add it even to the noob to pro update tonight but i thought maybe i'll just do it at a single video but it came out this way so nothing special in this shard pool so i'll add it to the note to update later guys <laughs>